Welcome to the FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly podcast series hosted by Jason Ayers, a top instructor, trader, and founder of Optionsource.net. Join Jason as he discusses the latest trends in the Forex market with a look ahead on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies using the most commonly used technical indicators. Hi there and welcome to the ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for October 19th, 2009. This is Jason Ayers, founder and president of Optionsource.net. Well, let's take a look at our weekly U.S. dollar index. As you can see here, the U.S. dollar index broke below that 76, 77 focal zone. Now, if we can, in fact, uh, retrace back up into this uh, and above this price level here, we would be looking at a move up into 78, 79. However, the path of least resistance at this point appears to be down into the 73, 74 focal zone. If we take a look at our daily snapshot, you can see that we do have a moderate support level in at 75, suggesting a bounce here may play back up into 76. However, until we do get a bigger picture move beyond 76, again, path of least resistance, and the short term continues to be to the downside. Let's take a look at the first of our ISC FX options pair values, the CDD, the U.S. dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Well, the CDD appears to be stabilizing a little bit after a... Uh, break down below 103 to uh, tap the 102 and a half uh, uh, pair value we can see now we're trading back up into that 103 104 focal zone at this point if we do manage to break beyond 104 we may see a test up into this 106 107 focal zone however a break below 102 likely will signal a play down into this 100 level which reflects a US Canadian dollar par Next up, the YUK, the U.S. versus the Japanese yen. Well, the U.S. dollar uh, gained back a little bit of its value against the yen, trading up into our 91, 91 and a half focal zone. At this point, we may very well see a pullback that could uh, retrace into this 89, 90 focal zone. However, a move through 91, 91 and a half is likely to target 92 and a half, 93 to the upside. Well, the U.S. dollar continued to extend its losses against the euro, as seen here in the ISCFX options pair value, EUI. We now see the pair value, in fact, testing a measured extension at 67, which may yield a bounce back up into the 67 and a half, 68 focal zone. A rejection here opens up the window for a move to test the 66 box. However, if we're able to see some stabilization in the EUI up in the 67 and a half, 68 focal zone, then... Uh, a move through this will have us targeting 69, 69 and a half. Let's take a look at how the U.S. dollar has been performing against the British pound through the BPX. Now, as you can see here, the U.S. dollar gave back much of its gains uh, from over the last two weeks as we uh, see the pair value now trading down into the 61, 61 and a half focal zone. Now, this level is a very important uh, retracement zone in the uh, near term, and we would expect a uh, bounce here uh, to move back up into the 62, 62 and a half focal zone. However, if the BPX is under able to uh, consolidate at 61, 61 and a half to find some support, a break below this is likely to test 59 and a half, 60 over the next uh, week. Well, the U.S. dollar continued to lose strength against the Australian dollars. We can see here in the AUX with a break below 110, the window is open for a move down into this 106 box. However, if we see the pair value move back up into this 110 level to start establishing some sort of a support, the window is open for a retracement back up into this 112, 113 focals. And however, the path of least resistance continues to be to the downside. Let's take a look at a few of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar index broke below 76, and unless we see the index break back above this 76 focal zone, we are likely to see a test of 74. Now, the CDD extended its downtrend as low as 102.5 this week before reversing back into the 103-104 focal zone. We may see a test of 106. However, the path of least resistance still appears to be to the downside. A break below 102.5 will likely signal a move to 100, which is, again, U.S.-Canadian dollar par. The YUK rallied to test 91, 91 and a half. Uh, however, we may see a pullback here, uh, but a break through this level will likely yield a test of 92 and a half, 93. The EUI moved lower and is now testing a measured extension. We may see a short-term bounce back up into the 67 and a half, 68 focal zone. 
The BPX broke below 62 and gave back the gains over the last two weeks. The pair value is now testing a key focal zone at 61, 61 and, and a half. It is important for this level to hold to support a bigger picture move to the upside for the U.S. dollar. The AUX continued to extend its move to the downside, closing the week below the 110 support. Until we see a break back above this focal zone, we expect a test of 106. And this has been Uriah C. FX Options Weekly Outlook for October 19th, 2009. As always, I'm Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net. Thanks for joining me here this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary, visit www.fxoptions.com. Become an Optionsource.net member. Visit www.optionsource.net. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.